Hello, we're going to do some fish on the barbecue now and one of the accessories that we're going to use is the Weber fish basket. A uh, great little bit of kit for whole food, for whole fish, for holding everything together and for kind of taking a lot of things on and off the barbecue in one go. Uh, one, of the, one of the kind of finickety things about it is the cleaning so to help with that I've just got some uh, lemon slices and I'll show you how we can keep everything nice and tidy. So if you want to just have a look down here, uh, we've, got our, we've got our trout. Um, just make, made some scores into the skin because when the lemon hits the barbecue, it's going to produce steam. And I want that steam to infuse the meat on the fish. So just made some uh, scores into the skin there on both sides um, so that that, can, that process can take place. Got some mold and sea salt here. Just going to season the cavity with a little bit of the, uh, with a little bit of the salt. Just to begin with, it's really important that we season our food. The next part over here, I've just got some lemon wedges. Just going to pop these into the cavity as well. These are just going to produce a nice aromatic and a nice level of moisture as well to steam the fish from the inside. And a few sprigs of tarragon as well. So just going to pop those into the cavity. And again, a nice little aniseedy flavor that goes really nice with the lightness of the, uh, of the trout. So slices of lemon make a little layer, make a little row of lemon wed lemon slices down the center. And then just because we've got two of these, we're going to do a second row. As I say, this is this is going to go on a direct heat. It's going to um, this is going to go over the direct heat on the on the barbecue behind me. Um, as these lemons get hot, they're going to steam, they're going to cook, they're going to give off a nice sweetness because the acidity in the lemon will turn to a sweetness as it cooks. So just going to lay these over and already we're starting to get a nice visual appeal. We've got a few little bits of tarragon left so I'm just going to pop one down the center of the fish there. Then it's time to bring the, uh, the lid over, clamp that closed and then it's ready to go on the barbecue. Really, really simple. So salt, tarragon, lemon and the fish. And you could do this with sea bass if you wanted to as well. We've got a good temperature in here. We're around about 230 degrees C. We're going to grill this. You could bake it on an indirect heat. For this, we're going to do it a little bit quicker. We're going to grill it. We've got the protection from the lemons. So I've got the left and the middle burners on about a three-quarter setting. So that's the left third and the center third that's lit. I don't need any extra heat from the third burner, so that's completely switched off. My grill's nice and clean, and the basket just goes on. If we just pop that that way, that's over the direct heat. Close the lid. We'll give that about five, six minutes on the first side. We'll come back, we'll turn it over and we'll give it another five, six minutes on the second side. It's going to be really simple, really quick. The fish has had five minutes on the uh, over the direct heat. Lift the lid, take a look, flip this over. We see some nice um, color on the lemons there. We're just going to not waste around uh, with the lid open. We'll just turn that over, put it straight back on the direct heat and put the lid down. When you cut with the lid down, the heat that's being generated inside the barbecue is going to be, um, it's going to be retained underneath the lid. So as well as grilling that fish from the underside, it's going to be roasting it from the outside as well. So another five, six minutes, we'll put that down, um, put it, leave it on the barbecue for another five, six minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll take a look with the temperature probe. So we've given the fish another five minutes on the second side on a direct heat. It's time to give it a check. Simply lift the lid, take our little digital temperature probe, and just um, being careful not to catch the grill, the, uh, the grill on the, uh, on the actual fish basket, just popping that probe tip into the deepest part of the fish just looking for around about 55 to 60 degrees C, which we have comfortably got there. So our fish is going to come off, going to turn the barbecue off. We're finished with that. So nice little bit of color on both sides. Out it comes. Let's just open this up. Now, one of the things with the fish basket, cleaning. If we look at this, how easy is that? The lemons have protected the, uh, the basket from the fish. If you want crispy skin and you use a fish basket, you're going to leave most of it behind anyway. So let's just have a look at this fish. I can smell the freshness of the lemon. If we just pare this skin back a little bit, we can see the flesh is beautifully cooked, getting little hints of the tarragon as well. So nice and fresh aniseedy flavor. And then if I just peel that down, nice little bit of juicy, fresh uh, fish there, cooked all the way through. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Nice fresh trout, simple flavors, lemon, tarragon, a little bit of salt. 
give it a go, see what you think. For more information on um, hints, tips, recipes, check out the Hayes Facebook page, uh, the Instagram and the, um, and the Twitter account. Check out the website, as well as come in store and see Ian and the team here. Um, demos, events throughout the year as well, but really do urge you to give this a try. And for more information, just come and ask the staff here at the center. So thank you very much.